Oi, eh? Well, I found a couple scraps of paper on the floor that seemed kind of exciting. Um, this first one is titled An Ashabi. But um, you have to make up your own mind. We'll talk about it in a minute. We've talked about them before. This is a nice little serial relationship involving uh, Louisa Le Comte Le Grau, daughter of Le Set and voyageur Antoine Le Comte Le Grau. Um, associated with the little crow uh, Medul Ganunid bloodline. Miss Louisa Le Comte Le Grau had married Joseph Brunel, the son of Keshpa Gorno. Um, of the Little Crow Setana Wakanamani bloodline. A leadership bloodline of um, the entirety of, of uh, uh, the Sioux and their relations. Now, Joseph Brunel was also married at one time to, or thereafter, to Joseph Descoteau, the daughter of Marguerite Dufour, and Angelique Joseph Gerbo Belgarde, and her related in marriage as well to uh, Red Bear One. So that, that's a nice little serial relationship to uh, begin today with. It, it involves those two uh, Little Crow bloodlines, Medua Ganun Ned and Setanwaka Anamani. Also, laying there about by chance, is this chart um, concerning Sophia Grinon, an Odawa Menenomini woman, and her husband Joseph F. Sakitak Gauthier, a Menomini. Man, him the son of Joseph, a big wave, Gothier, an Odawa Menomini, and his wife was Susan Saukato Tiwi, Mi Chituna. Wounded Bear's Shoulder, Caron, the daughter of Charlotte Degnaud, and Menominini, Chief Augustin Ilmota Fishman Caron, whom had been born of a Sao woman. The Sao tribe is more or less like the Illinois people, I reckon. Here they say they're from Wisconsin. When I mentioned her as being like the Illinois peoples, I mentioned it only in so much as it being beneath the uh, Great Lakes and the father of Charlotte Degnaud was Francois 
Degno. Again, of Wisconsin. If we keep on exploring these charts, we're going to come across certain massacres that happened in Wisconsin. That's our history. We're going to start at the top. François-Joseph-David Chevalier, husband of Marie-François-Martin of Barton, were the parents of Jean-Baptiste Chevalier, the husband of Marie-François-Francis Alavoine. Uh, two children are listed. And the first be Marguerite Chevalier, the wife of Pierre Grignon, the first, son of Jean-Jacques Grignon and his wife, Marie-Therese François Richard de la Flèche, daughter of Dorothy Marie Brassard and Pierre Richard Dight la Flèche. Jacques Grignon and Jean Tessier were the parents of Jean-Jacques Renon, husband of Marie-Therese François Richard Dite La Flèche, parents of Pierre Clinon the First, husband of Marguerite Chevalier, parents of Pierre the Second, Grinon, him having first married Menominini Grinon, and they had children. Nothing more said here. The second wife of Pierre the Second Grignon was Louise Domital de Langlade or Langlade. And their son, Pierre Antoine Panfin Grignon of the Ottawa, took to wife an Ottawa woman named Charlotte. Monikapi and their son Robert Grignon of the Ottawa took to wife a woman of the Ottawa men and Omni Tashkau Nikiu parents of Ottawa men Omni Sophia Grignon the wife of men Omni Joseph F. Sao Ki Tak got here. So we're going to look at the sister of Marguerite Chevalier, wife of Pierre Grignon the first, the daughter of Marie Francois Lavoine, wife of Jean Baptiste Chevalier, son of Francois Joseph David Chevalier, and Marie Francois Martin of Barton. The sister being uh, Louis Therese, Therese Chevalier. And here I am embarrassed for uh, this be no sister but a brother. And the brother's name be Louis Therese, Therese Chevalier, husband of Marie Madeleine Raoum. A woman of the Ottawa Wendat Menominee, perhaps. Oh, her, the mother of Marie Joseph Rayum, a Wendat Menominee, Ottawa. Excuse me, not the mother, but the sister. Uh, the. The, the sister of uh, Marie Joseph Ran when that men and nominee Ottawa was Ottawa when that men and nominee woman Marie Madeleine Room, daughter, wife of uh, Louis Therese, Therese Chevalier. Now, the parents of those Ran uh, men and nominee Ottawa kids was uh, Jean Baptiste Room, a Wendat, and Marie Anne 
Sim froz Thomas Ua ua bukui Ua ua gukui Ua ua gukui Menenomini Ottawa woman Also listed here, and I didn't really want to go into it, but I will. Um, there is an X on the line. I know not what that means, whether it means that this line is not, but it does not seem to be. It, uh, it does seem that... The family of Chief Pontiac, husband of Kentucky Gun Manon Labadi, daughter of an Ottawa woman and an Ojibwe Potatoman me man, with the parents of Marie Manon Le Savage de Sautus. The wife of Antoine Louis de Comte de Labadie, and they had parents. Now we see why this chart was on the floor. There is some discontinuance hereabouts, thereabouts. But you look up Chief Pontiac, he had a lot to do with uh, events at Detroit, and uh, there are some uh, interesting. Uh, film renditions of those events. I won't mention any offhand because I like to look things up and double check. I often not make mistakes, eh? Why make more? So this chart uh, also came off the floor about the same time and it involves uh, members of the first French family and a gentleman of the Caradon Salier Siva de Riewil named Jean Jacques Grinon, son of Jacques Grinon and Jean Tessier, daughter of Madame Savignier and Pierre Tessier. Jean Jacques Grinon of the Caradon Salier Siva de Riewil. Married Marie Therese Francois Richard de La Flèche. Her, the daughter of Dorothy Marie Brassard, sister of Jean Brassard or Jean Baptiste Brassard Père, the children of Master Mason Antoine Brassard, son of Antoine Brassard and Marie Forme. Daughter of Antoine Forme and Jean Forrest. Master Mason Antoine Brassard was the husband of Fia Marie, Francois Marie. Daughter of Madeleine and Francois Marie. And again, their children were. Dorothy Marie Brassard, the wife of Pierre Richard de La Flèche, son of Richard Jean de La Flèche and Marie Gallard Day, daughter of Jacqueline de Beauville, daughter of Gillette de Virbresm and Philippe de Beauville. So those are probably French names, eh? <laughs> and of course uh, listed here Marie Therese Francois Richard de La Flèche was also married to Jean Baptiste Hood, son of Louis Marie Hood de Tos Rocher, and Anne. Ursul Buisson, 
Louis Marie, who did this rocher, the son of Louis Noel, who did this rocher, and Marie Madeleine Boucher, having um, siblings in our relation of our uh, genetics, I suppose. So we're going to look now at Jean Baptiste Pair Brassard. And his wife, Jean Quelf, daughter of Marie Camus and Jean Quelf. Her, the wife of Jean Baptiste Brassard Père, and the mother of Jean Baptiste Brassard Fille, who took to wife Marie Joseph Chalifou, daughter of Jean Philippot, daughter of Jean Inard, and Claude Philippot of France unknown. The father of Marie Joseph Chalifaux was Paul Francois Chalifaux, Chalifour, son of Paul Charles Chalifaux, Chalifour, son of Paul Chalifour and Marie Gabary and Jacquette. Archambault, daughter of François Tournon and Jacques Archambault. Of course, I want to make note that Marie Gabary mentioned here is not Marie Gabary, the wife of uh, La Jemardier, the first woman in the Northwest Territories then. To finish this chart, Jean Baptiste Brassard Fille and Marie Joseph Chalifaux, with the parents of Charles Marie Brassard, husband of Catherine Gagnon of the first French family, the parents of Augustine Brassard. That is that, eh? Uh, when doing research, notes accumulate. I try and keep on top of things, but sometimes notes accumulate faster than I can decipher what I'm working on, and um, I, I, I don't like to censor myself if I cannot, yet uh, um, I really don't like to be, as I am, uh, repetitious in some states talking about different folk uh, from different angles accordingly as writ or recorded in different charts because like diamonds we're all multifaceted I suppose so now I find these two which were the first two that I picked up off the floor which uh, tendered me much excitement to share with you Again, I'm sorry you really can't read what's written there, but um, once you see what's there, it helps you to understand me speak. Here we're talking about the family, First Nations family of Virginia in uh, an American colony. Corn Clan Chief, Great Corn Cornstalk, husband of Shawno of the Wind Clan, with the parents of Young Cornstalk, him, the husband of a daughter of Zaula of the Wind Clan. Their son, New Cornstalk, was the husband of daughter of Jalakasa of the Panther Clan. And their son, Great Cornstalk, was the husband of 
Pochana Nuff Wenanuski And their child was my chumps. Pochana a nuff Wenanuski was also married to Chief Wabansonakok of the Powahatan, son of a chief of the Powahatan. And their son or daughter, it saith not, was Wingan Uski of the Powahatan, whom had descendants. Now, Pochanath Wingan Uski was only one of several siblings whom we will now look at, beginning with a sister of Powhatan. Next, Opachankanaf Mangopisonom. Paramount chief of the Powahatan was first married to a daughter of the chief of the Akohanok, but also the wife of Pipsico. Uh, he had one daughter mentioned, but not by name. Third, Wahan Seneca, paramount chief of the Powahatan, fourth, Pochananoff, Wenanuske, who we begin. This discussion with, in so much as concerns these siblings, the last children being Opasana Kwanuski, Opachisko of the Powahatan, Apochamo Kekatov, Kadakov, Powahatan. Wawinocho, Powahatan, second sister of Powahatan, and mother of Nektawans, whom was the father, I reckon, of Nektawans. King of the Wanoak. His wife was the wife of Nectwats. And their children were leader of the Pamunki, and a sister of Kokakoski. I am quite familiar now with whom we are speaking of, and although I do recognize to some extent whom we are discussing according to this chart, as I did post something, uh, that great chart around uh, Nantushik Corbo and her husband uh, James Jones, who's and um, the Kri Ojibwa Chippewa chart. You'll find it if you look for it. This this one be related to that one. 
and begins in the British colonial America, Virginia, Encenor, Algonquian, Mangopisomon, chief of the Powhatan, was the fla was the, the father of Chief Morning Flower Powhatan, who took to wife uh, an unknown woman here called Murmuring Spring, a woman of the Powhatan. The son is not named, neither is his, uh, excuse me, their daughter is not named, neither is her husband, a chief of the Atanafkamok tribe, also married to a daughter of Shawano, Chief Shawano. Three grandchildren are listed. Um, of uh, Chief Morning Flower Powhatan Winokok Mungo Peshamom Powhatan Chief of the Powhatan who married and sired Wero once of Powhatan We took an unknown's wife or husband of the Pato Womack and they had three children Kokuam of the Pata Womack, whom was the husband of Pocahontas. Lesser Chief Japasaw Aupasas Patawomek of Pasapatane Him uh, also married to or him married to Papawiske of the Powhatan, the wife of Werewowans of the Powhatan. Werewowans of the Powhatan, of course, the father in law of Pocahontas, and the father of lesser chief Aoopasus, Patomak of the Pasapantene. So it looks like his son um, hooked up with his second wife, which we have seen biblically. Um, if I'm not mistaken, one of the sons of Jacob, who took the name Israel, and it would be his elder son went and lay with one of his wife's concubines and lost favor. It would have been one of the sons of Leah the wild cow, Medax. In any event, we see the, the two lines thusly familiarly interrelated. Hence, no name of the Powahatan, daughter of no name of the Powahatan, called Murmuring Spring, and Chief Morning Flower Powahatan, son of Chief of Powahatan, Ensenor Algonquin, Mango Pesomon, had three had four children, two being married together here accordingly, both unnamed and no siring of children, so whatever. But the youngest, of course, was the father of Papa Whiskey, 
the first wife of Wero Lance of the Powahatan, the grandson of no name chief of the Atanofkamok tribe. Son-in-law of Chief Morning Flower Powhatan. And of course, Wero Wants of the Powhatan being the father-in-law of Pocahontas. And the last of uh, that um, younger uh, uh, lineage of siblings listed here. We see great king of Patobomak being the youngest brother of Reser Chipiopas uh, Patobomak of the Pasquantani and Kokum of the Patomak husband of Pocahontas. There was some movement westward by many First Nations folks whereof the Europeans settled into the um, American coastline all the way uh, from um, the Carolinas, Georgia, up to uh, Maine, Acadia, Quebec, Newfoundland. Uh, in Newfoundland, the Bothlick, of course, were are no longer with us. They are extinct. Um, this uh, push west was felt far into the plains. So events happening there involved a lot of internal strife uh, on the Great Interior Plains all the way from Texas up to um, the Shield. Canadian Shield, uh, all, all along, all along uh, the interior uh, um, hillside of the Rocky Mountains. <coughs> Please excuse me for that uh, coughing. This is left over from the other day. This be the big chart. It's uh, left over from the other day. This be the big chart. It's uh, <coughs> it's not going to take us much time to run through it, though. Uh, really. Um, just giving it a quick glance. I can see I'm wrong and it's going to take a lot of time to run through it. So we're going to put this one aside till tomorrow and devote the whole of our next uh, um, communication together, uh, should it happen, to that page. Uh, and and we, we I think that this here might, might fill our time a little bit more accordingly as we have about a half an hour left together. I mean, I could spend more time with you and you with me, but why? Uh, is it boring enough? The important thing is, though, that uh, you can listen to me in the background while listening to music or watching TV or doing your own research, which is something I do. So, you know, maybe, maybe that's just me.
Right here I see some uh, First French family names. And those same names appear over here at this other edge of the chart. Eight generations are shown in total, maybe maybe nine. I want to begin with uh, those families from uh, that are here on represented on both sides of the page, and them being. First French family. I want to say Abraham Martin, husband of Marguerite Langlois, were the parents of Marguerite Martin, wife of Etienne Racine, son of Rene Racine and Marie Loisel. Etienne Racine and Marguerite Martin were the parents of Madeleine Racine, wife of Noel Simard de Lombret, son of Pierre Simard de Lombret, and Suzanne Durand, daughter of Francois Levrault and Louis Durand, wife of Pierre Simard de Lombret, son of Marcel. Marceau, Simard, and Ozan Houlet. So Marceau, so Marceau, Simard, husband of Ozan Houlet, were the parents of Pierre Simard de Lombret, husband of Suzanne Durand, wife of France, daughter of Francois Levrault, Levrault, and Louis Durand, Père Simard de Lombret, and Suzanne Durand were the parents of Noel Simard de Lombret, husband of Madeleine Racine, daughter of Marguerite Martin, daughter of Marguerite Langlois. And the Langlois family, of course, um, I've been called Mayatis albeit being fully French born in France, which uh, as well as the uh, François Grenier, whom later uh, came to be called an Algonquin born woman in Canada, nonetheless led me to the conclusion that yes, Indian women either went of their own accord or were kidnapped, and it's written so in many history books that they were kidnapped and brought back as specimens to Europe to entertain the, the courts, and uh, we're not talking kings and queens all the time, maybe they are minor courts or minor officials, but nonetheless, there was much sexual liberty, and in that much said, we know that of that nature were born Mayakitis, or half-breeds born in France, in England, in Spain, and uh, Belgium, and Portugal, maybe even in Italy, who knows? The Cloutier family is also mentioned in relation to Anne Cloutier, daughter of Saint Dupont, daughter of Perrine, and Paul Michel Dupont. Saint Dupont, the wife of Zachary Cloutier, the son of Denis Cloutier and Rene Bria. And
and click here there is a scribbling on this page and I cannot tell but um, seems be she You know, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it. We'll just forget it there. Uh, I was going to say, seems to be she uh, was the wife of uh, Robert Druin, but Robert, you know, that that's it was, that's just a scribbly mess. And it says here that Robert Druin's wife was uh, Maria Chapelier, daughter of Marguerite Dagier, the wife of Jean Chapelier. Robert Druin, of course, the son of Robert Druin and Marie Dubois, and him being one of the um, principals behind the settlement of uh, our French-born folk here in the New World, and I tell you, that was not immigration. There was nothing there to immigrate to. When you went there, there was pretty much nothing there but trees and tall grass and rocks um, even into the dirty thirties and forties and fifties our, our farmer folk relations had much reason to complain of having to clear the rocks from the land and make the soil ready for the plow. But there, then, uh, beyond the woods or within the woods were wild animals and savages like the Iroquois. You know, we have had many of our ancestors butchered by the Iroquois. I mean, they called it the French Iroquois War. The, uh, the Seven Years' War happened at the same time, and so yeah, this chart is just again um, another one of those very repetitious renditions of uh, my uh, paternal. Um, first French family history uh, and you'd expect it be so after all uh, my grandparents family only emigrated from Ontario where they'd been pushed by the British conquest yet onto their de 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 to their generations whereof they went and settled the the last of the the, the truly French or French speaking territories in Canada the Francophone lands in Saskatchewan north of uh, the stolen lands of uh, the South Branch and those families you know being French and French speaking did relate and relate well they did and they did have cousins that uh, they reunited with, they reformed a bond with that Quebecois bloodline that had became mixed through uh, several generations in the westward expansion of the Voyageur, the Cour de Bois, the Bison Hunter, the Mountain Man, our ancestors, all interrelated with the First Nations who had an equally dramatic and exciting history. So we're not going to talk too much more about the Quebec Y, albeit we do have a lot of time. Um, otherwise, as said, it would become overly a burden onto you uh, in its repetition, but I do have other charts that include 
many of these Quebecois names, but they're presented differently and their stories are much more exciting to look at then as now. Um, I can fill that whole wall with charts I've made of my first French family relations uh, including up to 17 generations so uh, look at this thing here and imagine uh, 12 of them on the wall exposing not both the paternal and maternal of my father but you know there's another one because uh, my mother is also uh, at least uh, in part uh, strongly related not just to the Mayakutas, the Exovid, the the Quebecois, Acadians, and the French, English, whatnot. But her be a uh, half Ukrainian. And there were only a few of the um, women settled by the immigration uh, offices uh, involved with the North West Trade Company and Hirsch and the land settlement offices in Prince Albert, Regina, and Winnipeg. Uh, and these prairie-born Ukrainian and Hungarian and Romanian, so few of these prairie-born women, for those folk all stayed within their own uh, cultural group when it came to marrying each other. And there were about very few of their daughters and or granddaughters which married outside those cultural limitations. I was talking with a fine young girl uh, involved with the Ukrainian folk in Saskatchewan. Um, her having recently gotten a grant, good for you, to explore those few relations. I pray her work is going well. So, you know, I'll just show you what I mean. We got enough time. This chart, of course, this one here is kind of kibbutz. Um, well, I thought this one might go together well, but it too is quite kaput. And we're not going to run through that because as I said, it's... It's just layer after layer after layer of the doublage or the doubling of the Quebecois um, genetic genealogical ascension or descension of my heritage and albeit it was something to discover for me I devoted 25 years to researching it since then uh, but not too many other folk have it any more much interest in it time holding well, we will look at this other chart. Seeing me throw those things away, um, I'll look at them closer and maybe arrange them so as to uh, share that tale with you and it have some kind of sensibility. After all, when you look at something like one of these <coughs> scrolling charts that cover hundreds of names and uh, several generations 
you'll see that uh, there are sometimes off times uh, more things said than unsaid worth talking about <coughs> Of course, most of you, like me, enjoy hearing about the me acutus families and this be that. And it goes way down here to ancestor ex Ovid Antoine Vandel Fee, son of ex Ovid Antoine Vandel de Machis Pere, son of Pierre Antoine Vandel. Son of Antoine Vandal, son of Jacques Vandal, son of Francois Vandal, son of Francois Vandal, son of Etienne Henri Vandal, husband of Julien Gros. Her the daughter of Gilles Pinel de la France and Anne Ledet. The daughter is Isabella Pinot and Nicholas Leodet. Okay, there's a mistake already. I wonder if I should just chart this to... Uh, I, the, the page bent there. And the red ink was uh, lost, but no. We'll start again with Etienne. Henri Vandel and Julien Grill as the parents of Francois Vandel, the husband of Marie Madeleine Penel de La France, her the daughter of Anne Ledette, and Gilles Penel de La France, Anne Ledette, the daughter of Isabella Penel. And Nicholas Leodet, Gilles Pinel de la France, the son of Nicholas Pinel de la France, and Marie Madeleine, who Marguerite Miranda de Marad, daughter of Jean Gua, and Matthew Marad de Marad, Nicholas Pinel de la France, the son of Nicholas Pinel de la France, and Thomas de la Haye. Francois Vandel married Marie Antoinette Repos de Rollet, daughter of Marie Aubert, Roche Rollet de Rollet, son of Pierre Repos and Marie Duval. Marie uh, Anne Aubert was the daughter of Antoine Mounier and Jacques Aubert, the son of George Aubert, the son of Charles Aubert. George Aubert and Marie Osan were, of course, the parents of Jacques Aubert, the husband of Antoinette Mounier, the daughter of Anne Lamy and Antoinette Mounier, and we've talked to them. François Vandel and Marie Antoinette Repos de Rollet were the parents of Jacques Vandel. Him, the husband, Thierry Savoyne de Ven, daughter of Marie Louise de Sautel, daughter of Fille de Roy Marie Ramin. Daughter of Marie Vanet and Nicholas Ramé. Marie Ramé Fidroy was the wife of Joseph de Sotels de La Pointe, son of Thomas de Sotels, son of Pierre de Sotels, son of Guillaume des Hotels. Son of Saecher, des Hotels, des Chatels, and Andela Vesieux. Sacher, des Hotels, des Chatels, and 
Anda la Vezir with the parents of Guillaume des Hotels, husband of Jean Dessel de Brewer, the parents of Pierre des Hotels, the husband of Rene Lebrun, the parents of Thomas des Hotels, the husband of Marie Martha de la Flèche Buisson, daughter of Jacqueline Chanel Ollier and Nicolas Buisson. Of course, they were the grandparents of Marie Rene Fidroy, the grand mother of Theresa Voindit Venn, wife of Jacques Venn. Parents of Antoine Vandal, who married Marie Charlotte Mandeville. Here's something exciting to share with you. We see this line hath uh, siblings mentioned, whereof me descended of both Marc Antoine, Hus Ditmele de Beauchemin, and Marie Charlotte Mandeville, the children of Marc Antoine Haas and Francois Lavallee, the daughter of Marguerite Toussaint and Jean Petit Jean Lavallee Paquette, who was killed by the Iroquois. And we've talked extensively of this chart there, so we won't go much further into it now. Um, I would like to say, though, that uh, Antoine Millet, the son of Marc Antoine Huss, Dit Millet, Dit Beauchemin, and Louise Arsul Lagourse, married Marie Josephette Lavallee, and. Their son, André Mequette Millet de Pochamin, had married Madeleine Ducharme, later married Charlotte Pelletier. This is along the same line of Antoine Vandel and Marie Charlotte Mandeville, and they share that same uh, distinction with James Hughes and Nantushi Corbeau, called the Kootenay Woman here. Charlotte Peltier was the daughter of uh, Marguerite Asina Bavan, dit Asina Boyne, a Sautus woman, and Antoine Peltier and Thea, dit Asina Boyne. The son of Marie Charlotte Mandeville and Pierre Francois Peltier, dit Antea. The son of Michel Peltier, dit Antea. And Marie Francois Menot de Chateauneuf. There, uh, we're going to uh, look at this chart from a different angle and begin to top and uh, yonder down because, of course, it begins with the Cartier family, and we all know I love to talk about the Cartier family. Jean-Jacques Cartier was the husband of Guillaumet Baudin. They had two children that we recorded. Jean-Jamais Cartier, husband of Giseline Jansant, the parents of explorer Jacques Cartier, the father of Canada. We, the people, The younger son, Jean Cartier, took the wife of Jean Lemouin, and their daughter, Francois Cartier, was the daughter, was the wife of Jean-Han Monahay, and their daughter, Etienne Monahay, took 
took for a husband Guillaume Pelletier, the, the son of Pierre Pelletier and Jean Moulin. Pierre Pelletier, son of Le Pelletier and Marguerite Colino. François Pelletier, the son of Guillaume Pelletier, the son of Pierre Pelletier, the son of Le Pelletier, took the wife of Simon Pichereau. And their son was Nicolas Pelletier, the husband of Jean de Voisy, daughter of Jean Gardonnet and Bartholomew de Voisy. And again, we are with Francois Pelletier de Antea, called Antea, because of his love relationship with Dorothy La Savagesse. To talk of these two, uh, now, if you stuck with me, you, it would be have worth it for you because all through that boredom we ended up talking of these two and again we're talking of one of the greatest love stories ever to shake our family tree. François Pelletier dit and Théa and Dorothy La Sauvage. Louise Pelletier, the sister of François Pelletier de Tantea, was married to Jean Adrien Ayot, son of Thomas Ayot and Jean Boucher, the daughter of Jacques Boucher and François Pechny. Louise Pelletier and Jean Adrien Ayot were the parents of Genevieve Ayot ou Ayot. Or the wife of Gabriel Berard de Lapin, the first son of Pierre Berard de Varin and Isabelle Berard. Their daughter Catherine Berard de Lapin was the wife of Jean Baptiste Mandeville, son of Jean Mandeville and Francois Mousseau de La Violette, daughter of Marguerite Savoy and Jacques Mousseau de La Violette Père. And again, we just talked about them, folk. What we see here in these people is a progression away from the uh, concept of the French Canadian Quebecois family. Here with moving further westward by the generations and becoming more so by the generations Canadian and less French-Canadian, and even less French-Colonial. Uh, uh, these folk are a little bit different in that context than the white cats who went and lived with the Huron Indians and became uh, the, the First Nations, but uh, of the founding family amongst the Huronia, or the Abenaki, or the Menonomani, or any of the other Indian tribes that uh, accepted these families as tribal members and clan mothers. Uh, them, of course, uh, uh, changing their coat, so to speak, from the French colonial to the First Nations, regardless of the skin color, eh? So, on this far end, we see again that uh, that same progression from Quebec into the Northwest Territories. Uh, we see names that we've talked of and names that we will talk of. But otherwise, you know, to speak more of them would be more of the boring rendition that we just run through. Hence me looketh for something that might interest you, and nothing does stand out too much so 
the name Barb Haley and her husband Jean Carrier and her sister Marie Haley and her husband Joachim Girard stand out. Um, but we've talked extensively of them yesterday. Um, the Marie Gendra is mentioned to have had five husbands, but only one is named. And the name, the Guillaume name here is mentioned uh, in France in association with the Cartier name. Of course, we've just talked about that and have uh, talked about it extensively in the past. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll close up with uh, just uh, a mention here of uh, the family of Alexander Henry the Elder, son of John Henry and John and Jane Henry, the son of Alexander Henry and Elizabeth. Alexander Henry the Elder took an Irish woman to wife named Julia Nicol Kitson. Him bore, or she bore him, William Honor Ellery Henry. Uh, he took to wife Agatha Latendra of Ditpatosh, daughter of a Cree woman, Josephat, and Okimawa Aska Ninam, Jean Baptiste Latendra of Ditpatosh, son of that western expansion of the French that uh, um, uh, slowly, generally, and gradually became more and more and less, more and more native and less and less Euro, regardless of skin color, eye color, hair color, or even to the degree of uh, your genealogy as we know we've all talked about in these episodes of the white people who were Indians or called Indians such as certain men in know me clan mothers and chiefs of the people whether the people be Amerindian or Euro. Just like in the many battles our people have shared together and fought again each other in through the generations, so too were we married together. And that's part of the niceness of what we're doing now here talking together about these genealogies is because if you go to the books and go to the bookstore and go online, pretty much all you're going to find is points of interest concerning specific individuals and uh, specific uh, actions in history. And if you want to look at history as a point form chronological progression of events, you're going to miss out on all the human interaction and you may as well just be a computer program if that's what you want to do. Thus said, much love, God's grace and peace be with you. Thank you for putting up with my ramblings and my mumblings and my, my coffee.